Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll learn how to use rigid body slider constraint. Let's get started. I have a model that consists of a camshaft and a valve. I will share the download link in the video description. The camshaft rotates around its axis and pushes down the valve. We will make this animation using the rigid body slider constraint. Press numpad 1 to switch to the front view. Press shift A and add a cube object. Move the cube upwards. Click the Physics Properties tab and add a rigid body. Press the spacebar to play the simulation. As you can see, the cube falls due to gravity. Let's switch the rigid body type from Active to Passive, so the cube will stay in place. All right, select the valve and add a rigid body. Set the rigid body type to active this time. Now we're going to add a slider rigid body constraint between the cube and the valve. First, select the cube, hold down the shift key, and then select the valve. The valve should be the active selection. Go to the object menu, choose rigid body, and then connect. This will add an empty object. Select the empty object and switch the rigid body constraint type to slider. We want the valve to slide along the global z-axis. However, the slider constraint operates along the x-axis of the empty object. So we need to rotate the empty object 90 degrees. We can also limit the movement along the x-axis. Enable the Limit x-axis option. The valve will slide 1 meter along the negative x-axis when you play the simulation. If you set the x lower value to negative 0.5, it will slide 0.5 meters. We want to keep the valve in place, so set the x lower value to 0. Now let's animate the camshaft. Ensure that the timeline cursor is at the first frame. Select the camshaft, hit the K key, and add a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 40. Hit the N key to open the right panel. Set the Y rotation value to 360 degrees. Hit the K key to add another rotation keyframe. Go back to the first frame and play the animation. To make the animation loop, go to the Timeline Editor, press Shift plus E, and set it to Cyclic. Alright, we need to add a rigid body to the camshaft to push the valve down. Add a rigid body to the camshaft and play the animation. As you can see, the camshaft falls and collides with the valve. We want the camshaft to be controlled by the animation system. To do this, Enable the Animated option and play the animation again. That's it. However, it doesn't move along the global Z-axis. To fix this, select the valve, go to the Item tab, and lock the X and Y location axis as well as the X, Y, and Z rotation axis. Play the animation. That's it. However, the valve hops up a little bit when it returns. To fix this, select the empty object and set the X upper value to 0. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.